Hey, this is Austin Childress with Roasty Coffee, and today we're gonna to be doing a review of Atlas Coffee Club subscription. Atlas Coffee, um, they're based out of Austin, Texas, and what they're doing is they're sourcing and curating amazing coffees from all over the world, places like India, Kenya, Peru, and then they're roasting it, small batches, especially for you right there in Austin, and then shipping it out. They've been doing this for several years, amazing coffees, great variety. Every month that you get a coffee from them, it's gonna be from a different place. Their main subscription is called the Coffee World Tour. They deliver right to you every two to four weeks, uh, whichever one you pick, however many bags you want. Uh, so today we're gonna try two of the bags that they sent to us and just kind of take a look at what they have to offer. All right, so here, got a bag from Kenya. The packaging is just absolutely gorgeous. And so they also send, in addition to the bags, they send you a postcard gorgeous, so if you want to send one and pretend you went to Kenya, here's that. And then, um, I love this because not only does it give us kind of some tasting notes, um, it says we should experience red apple, baking spice, oat milk, oh, oat milk, that's strange. I'm not sure what they're talking about, a tasting note there. Um, but then it says roast level, medium roast level, um, and try it in a Chemex. So that's what we'll do today. And then on the back of the card has a bit of Kenya's history, which is a fascinating history as far as coffee is concerned. So I love that aspect of it. Um, and that tells you more about, you know, where it was grown, altitude, process, stuff like that. Oh, and also they're saying, the oat milk is going to be like a body, a texture thing. So that makes a lot more sense. You're not actually gonna taste notes of oat in here, um, but really excited for that. So let's go ahead and brew up a cup. all ready to go. Notice when I was brewing it, it smelled incredible. I'm really excited to try it. Yum town. It's delicious. Um, the acidity is really pleasant. Um, sometimes um, I think people can get a little afraid of Kenyan coffees because maybe the acidity is too much, but this one's really wonderful, really nice. Um, totally get that oat milk body, that like really nice lush um, it's delicious, really nice kind of spice finish to it. I love it, it's solid. And so they've actually sent us another one as well. Uh, this one is from India. Love this packaging, unbelievable. Reminds me of the wallpaper in my house. Uh, what they're doing on this is gorgeous. And then same thing, it's got a uh, postcard here from India and then same tasting notes. Um, so this one is their Tamil Nadu. Um, tasting notes on this one, marzipan, so like sweet marshmallowy, um, milk chocolate, raisin. Uh, again, this is on the medium roast, a little bit towards the lighter end of the spectrum. Uh, they say to try on a Chemex. Um, same thing, beautiful little history of coffee in India. I love that tidbit love knowing more about where coffee comes from and how it's gotten here and so india you don't see a lot of it so i think this is a really unique coffee for us to be able to try today uh, so we're going to go ahead and brew up a cup of this as well i if they made this into wallpaper i would take it <laughs> <laughs> Mm, 
smells exactly like an Indian coffee. Um, lots of kind of earth, herbal type notes to it. All right, so this India coffee is ready to go. Um, I'm drinking it out of my favorite mug, which Austin Connection. This was made in Austin, Texas. Um, again, smells wonderful. Getting kind of sweet, sweet aromas, a little bit of this kind of like earthy hint um, that is notorious in India coffees. It's really smooth, really balanced. This is delicious. It's not very often that you get to try a coffee from India. So all in all, these coffees were delicious. Um, you know, Atlas is so great at sourcing wonderful coffees from unique places all over the world. So if that's something that you're interested in, I uh, would highly recommend, you know, clicking the link below, checking out their website, seeing what they have to offer, because they're always putting something new out there that you may or may not have ever had. So, cheers. That was a weird ending. I was gonna go somewhere else and then I didn't know where to go and I was said, cheers. Ah, I panic. I don't know what to do with my hands. Yeah. <laughs>